Now we're going to move on to figure seven. And we're going to stick six perpendicular connectors onto this setup. So we're going to stick two in the top, these top large frames on the corner. So here's on one side, here's on the other side. Then we're going to stick two right in between these first two short frames in the hole that's on the large frame underneath. So down here and again on the other side down here. And then two more are going to go you might have to move this a little forward because they're going to go right here. So push in this part into the end hole in the front extra short rod. All right, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, and six perpendicular connectors. And to make the mast bearing, we're going to need another universal adapter. And to make a universal adapter, you take this front piece, you take the back piece, you stick it in, and then you take two screws, put them in these holes, and take the screwdriver and screw them in. So we're going to take the universal adapter, then we're going to stick an axle into it, a washer onto the axle, and then put the axle inside of this aluminum pipe. Then we're going to stick two anchor pins on the top here. So one right here, and another one right here. And this is ultimately going to carry the setup but we still have to attach this onto something sturdier, which will make it easier to carry. So something like a broomstick would be great. And the way that we can connect these is by using these ties that come in the kit. So I'm just gonna connect these two. And add one more. All right, so now we have this that's going to hold this piece. And we need to make sure we have our blades. And the blades we made in Let's Build the Power Plant. So you want to get all six blades together. But before attaching them, because you won't be able to put all the blades on here unless this is elevated, you're going to want to stick this on top of here using these two anchor pins and you can stick them into any two holes in the long frame. I would suggest going about four or five holes in so that it's sturdy and it's not too back heavy or forward heavy. So it should look like this and now we can actually attach the blades to the front. And you want to make sure that all the taped edges are facing the same direction, so you don't want to have two blades that are like this. And just keep adding the blades on. Okay, and now let's take this outside and see what it can do. And now we're going to do experiments 18, 19, and 20, where we put our windmill to work. And we have inspiration from a real windmill in the background here. So for experiment 18, we are going to have the windmill light up an LED. It's called the windmill produces light. And so for this experiment, you need to insert the LED in the generator in the back of the windmill. You insert it into the small white socket. And if the LED doesn't light up when the windmill is going, just reverse it by taking it out and putting it in the opposite direction. And you want to get it all the way into the socket. And when the windmill turns, the energy is transferred from the wind through the generator into the LED. And now we're going to do experiment 19, where you use the windmill to recharge a rechargeable battery. 
So in the same way that in experiment 18, we used the wind power to uh, light an LED, we're now going to be using it to generate electricity to charge a rechargeable battery. So for this experiment, you need a rechargeable battery, um, a double A size rechargeable battery. You need the battery holder and you need um, the two wires uh, attached to the little white plug. And so first you insert the battery holder into the uh, two holes at the bottom of the generator. Then insert the battery, um, paying attention to the correct polarity. So you want the positive side on the positive side and the negative side on the negative side. For this experiment, we want to connect the blue wire to the blue wire and the red wire to the red wire. And then insert the plug like this into the socket. And now it should be set up to recharge the battery when the wind is going. Okay, and now we're going to do experiment 20, where the windmill becomes a fan. So in the last experiment, we were using the windmill to produce energy, which was charging the rechargeable battery. Now we're going to use the charged rechargeable battery to turn the windmill into a fan. So make sure the rechargeable battery is now charged, and then all you have to do is switch the wires so that red goes with blue, and blue goes with red. And now your windmill becomes a fan. <laughs>